These bend the rules of physics. Best lenses for iPhone videography. Stay tuned to find out which one I would recommend. I'm a big fan of these lenses is because whenever you're going somewhere, you always carry your phone with you. And with these, they're so compact and small, but deliver such amazing optical quality and the lowest amount of chromatic aberration and vignetting. And so stay tuned to find out what that is. Whereas a G Master lens, those are big, heavy lenses. And then you have to have a DSLR or mirrorless camera. And you don't always want to have to carry this around with you everywhere. And iPhones are so much smarter. They can properly expose, they can use like machine learning and computation videography. So you get the best of both worlds, better glass, also known as lenses, and interchangeableness. So then you can get varieties of shots and things like that with the computational benefits of a smartphone videography. I'm a big fan of the moment lenses. I've tried Sandmark's lenses before, but Sandmark is only for iPhone. Even though Sandmark is a well-known name brand in lenses, I don't trust them as much to always have cases to support. Moment has lenses for iPhone, Android, and all the iPhones. I'm confident that they're gonna support them for years to come. How you attach your lens to the phone is you have cases and then you just screw it on. Also, the thing about Moment lenses is they have a great ecosystem built up around them. You can get cool things like this, which is a UV and or ND filter adapters. This is the mount for the anamorphic lens. And it goes on top, take off the lens cap, and now you can fit that and you can fit either, I have these right here, which are my extra filters and adapter to change this. I really like the Peter McKinnon Polar Pro variable ND filters. Those are amazing because then if you're gonna get one ND filter, get that one. Otherwise, you can get inexpensive ones or a satin one, which I'll have all the affiliate things that I talk about linked in the video description for all the things that I talk about, if you're interested. It's great for if you're at the beach or something like that. And also that way you don't get sand in your lens. If you're at the beach and it's windy, you don't wanna get stuff in your lens. But they have everything from Superfish, which is 15 millimeters, 170 degrees. And the nice thing is they label the little microfiber baggies so you can tell what it is. And it's great for beginner videography because if they put the millimeter equivalent, you might not know what that is yet. This makes it very inner friendly for beginner for videography. Then you have the 18 millimeter wide lens, the 58 millimeter. They also have a 60 millimeter, which I can't seem to find right now. I have the lenses in here and then I have anamorphic and macro. I really like this. This is nice. It's a case, but I'll have another video that goes over these in more detail. These are the lenses. They're nice glass. They have a low amount of chromatic aberration and vignetting. Vignetting is where you get that like border around it where it kind of comes in like this. Uh, and then where chromatic aberration is when light reflects and refracts off of the materials in and on the item, so the lens, and distorts your image. So they're very good lenses, I like them a lot. Although I do admit they are a little expensive, but would you rather carry around a full backpack with all your lenses and all those things, or just carry around like three lenses? Leave your comments down below, because I have two lenses in here and the lens on here. So I generally have either a telephoto or an ultra wide and then either and jingies that's why you have a case on them and then you have two lenses in here and then it's great and that way you can use your bigger sensor on your phone so you get more light in and still have a telephoto lens on it to zoom farther away or an ultra wide so if you're in a low light environment it, it's great for low light environments because the telephoto lens on your iphone historically and currently has never been as sharp or as good as the full frame sensor just because of physics Computage hasn't found a way to beat physics yet, but they can bend the rules of physics, but they can't break them. Then you can put it on an iPhone gimbal, have this stabilize your footage. So you can have a real actual lens and then have stabilized footage and their moment app is great. It also can automatically de-stretch your footage if you're shooting with an anamorphic lens. If you're not using like Filmic Pro or something like that. Especially since the new iPhones can shoot ProRes raw video. Like and share because it really does help. Leave your comments down below. Check out this video next for more amazing accessories.